Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I already like attempted to film this video in my bedroom, but, and I like even made my bed and made like the throw pillows look super cute. And then like, I put you guys like up on my dresser facing my little shelves that I hung up for the aesthetic vibes, but it just wasn't working out in there. The sunlight wasn't right. I had my windows open and, or my blinds open, excuse me. And the lady that like walked past, which is my upstairs neighbor was like, she walked by and looked into my window and I felt so embarrassed. And then Zoe kept wanting to get on the bed cause I was, that's where I was sitting. And then she threw all the throw pillows off of my bed and it was just a journey. So I want to apologize for not having like an aesthetically pleasing background necessarily. This bookshelf right here normally looks pretty cute, but Zoe took that entire bottom shelf out. So you know what? It's going to bother me. So let me just fix that really quick. I'll be right back. I just already know that editing Jordan is so much happier with that bookshelf being intact. Oh my gosh, I am a mess. Okay, sorry. My shirt, I shouldn't have wore a white shirt because it's like so bright right here. And then also it's kind of see-through. You can see my tattoo. That's really funny. But don't worry, I have like a little... Okay, anyways, okay, sorry. I'm like all over the place. Oh my gosh, look at my cute little jeans. Look at my cute little Levi's jeans. See how the white shirt is just not going with the vibe? Oh, whatever. This is mom life. Zoe is just like occupied right now. So I kind of have to like do this real quick. Okay. So the reason I'm filming this video, <laughs> it's been a while. So, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Did I say that yet? I don't even know. Um, but it's not a Jordan video without me saying that. So I have to say that really quick. Okay. So I'm actually using my front face camera today, which I don't normally do, but I just didn't want to deal with like having to go and check the angles and all that stuff. I'm sorry if the clarity on this video isn't that good, but you know what? Once I get the hype and start making that coin, I'll get a camera with a viewfinder. <laughs> And yeah, so like this video so I can get the hype. Yeah, you got that yum. Oh, I knew I had something in my hair. I'm pretty sure that's oatmeal <laughs> from this morning. Okay, not from me, from Zoe, just so you know. I have a one-year-old daughter for those of you guys who are new here, just so I don't sound like a complete like crazy person. Oh, here she comes. The woman of the hour. Uh, uh, uh. Come here, baby. Say hello. Uh. <laughs> she has a mouthful of goldfish. Is that your phone? <laughs> hello? <laughs> That's why she did that because I said hello. I was wondering. So guys, this video is being filmed because I haven't like sat down and talked to you guys since we moved and since I announced that we moved and Joel and I filmed that video. I have gotten like 15 plus messages from different people like asking me if I'm okay. <laughs> how the move has been, how do we like our new apartment, how do we like our new town. So I'm going to sit down and answer all these questions to everybody. Um, although that I, I, I did DM those people back and answer them like, you know, one by one, but I just want to get on here because I'm like, you know, you know, like in class when like you raise your hand and then you're like, sorry if this is a dumb question. And then the teacher's like, it's probably not a dumb question because probably somebody else is, you know, wanting to know the same thing. They just don't have the guts to raise their hand. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Because that kind of applies here. I feel like even though only some people DM'd me and asked like how the move was and everything, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are probably wondering the same thing. So here we go. <laughs> Let me start off by saying this. I'm okay. I know in the last video, you know, we were like, a, we, we, we were, we were very vulnerable in sharing a few things with you guys that I feel like, um, I normally wouldn't have shared. I don't know. I feel like I am an open book, but at the same time, I don't like people to worry and I don't like people to speculate and I don't like people to like assume like that I'm not okay or like that I'm not in a good place because I wasn't for sure. I wasn't in a good place, but, um, that was because <laughs> that was because we had just gotten out of a crazy season of looking for a place and having a 30 day notice. If you guys are new to this channel and haven't you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Go back to my last few videos. Um, the one that says we move, the one that titled we moved and then we packed. So basically we had a 30 day notice to move. Moving is stressful, not just the packing part. Like obviously that comes with it, but the most stressful part is like the timing of things. Because the thing is if an opening would have happened like earlier, we probably wouldn't have been able to afford like the down deposit payment 
and the rent and everything because we were still paying on the other place. But if it had been later, we would have, you know, not been on the streets. We would have family, but we would have been like, you know, couch surfing, if you will. So the timing of moving can be very stressful when you have a 30 day notice. So me personally, <laughs> I am not good, not necessarily change. Change doesn't necessarily bother me. What bothers me is the unknown. <laughs> And that's where faith comes in and I love Jesus and I love God and I have faith and I have hope, you know, but I have a struggle of the unknown and not knowing what's going to come next and being nervous and like being like ugh, just, just feeling pressure, feeling just, yeah, I don't know, like feeling the pressure of like not knowing and like the fear of the unknown is just something that I've always, always struggled with. So in that video where Joel and I are sitting down, sorry, let me lower the camera because I'm sitting crisscross, crisscross applesauce. Okay. So in that video where Joel and I are sitting down and talking about the move, you might have a couple of people caught on that I just was still like shaken up from the whole experience. So I am totally fine now. What is that? You opened it? Is that your brush for your face? Ooh, she she got this and this actually had a wrapper around it. It's like, it comes with the uh, Physician's Formula Butter mm -hmm. Bronzer and it had, mm -hmm. it had the wrapper around it and she just took it off. I heard something back there, but I wasn't too concerned mm -hmm. um, because I had a feeling it was something. <laughs> So you putting your makeup on? So I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, you want to do mommy's? But mommy has her makeup done. I can feel like literally it's wet from probably her saliva. Not a good look though. Not a good look. She says, mo, mo. That means she wants me to do it more. <laughs> okay, we'll just talk while I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> you're so funny this has no makeup on it just so you guys know it was just like it came with the butter bronzer but i don't i didn't use this for application because i think that this is a super interesting tool from them uh, for them to send like is it so you can get a sharp contour i don't know i've never used it but i also made this video because i've gotten a lot of questions about how we like the move how we like our apartment how we like the town we're living in etc etc so overall i give this experience a 10 out of 10 <laughs> of living here so far we did move in we had a few maintenance problems our toilet was leaking it was so funny because <laughs> joel and i we would go into the bathroom and with you know our socks we always have socks on and we go in the bathroom and use the restroom and then we'd feel like wetness on our socks and i kept thinking like dang joel is getting water all over the bathroom like how is he even managing to do this and joel was one night giving zoe a bath and he was just like on the floor and he realized like when he squeezed like the tiles together, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but there was like water coming up and he was like, there's definitely a leak. So I had maintenance come in. I actually took them three times to figure out the problem. And once they figured it out, it was like too big of a problem for them to fix or it was going to be too expensive. So they're like, you know what? We're just going to give you a brand new toilet. And then, which was awesome. Thank you, maintenance people. Mama. And then our uh, dryer on the washing machine was broken. Like the button wasn't working to heat dry it, which meant that like mm -hmm. after we would wash our dishes, um, no baby, you already have some, they wouldn't get dried. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely inconvenient. So like I told maintenance about it and then they were just like not knowing how to fix it. So like, we'll just give you a new dryer. It falls under warranty, whatever. So our dryer, sorry, dishwasher. So. We got a new toilet, new dishwasher. They're super on top of things. Like Zoe's uh, door had like a hole in it and the bottom. Um, like I'm trying to think of more things like our sliding glass door, like the screen part was off the hinges. Um, there was like more things. Sorry, I'm just casually eating goldfish. Um, there was like more things, but um, basically maintenance has been super on top of things. So we love that. We actually love it here. Okay. so. What's great, and I we already shared this with you guys, but it's really, really close to Joel's work, which is just so convenient. Joel and I were actually just talking the other day, and we were saying how right now, at this point, has probably been the best time in our marriage. His commute is top seven minutes, he says, and that's just so amazing because 
we have had a lot of time together we get some time together before he goes to work like this morning we woke up and had coffee together um most times oh thanks baby most times i won't wake up and uh do anything with him that early because as you guys probably know i like my sleep anyways we have a lot more time together even like daisy gets off early like it's so amazing like yesterday he got off early oh thank you baby he got off at like three maybe like 3 45 or something he got home at like 3 50 something and then we had like the rest of the freaking day to hang out and it was just so amazing and we're just at a good good place right now and that's due to this apartment it is a lot smaller than our last place but i like it more our living room is actually bigger than our last place even though it's a smaller by square foot it's bigger because we don't have the third bedroom or the second bathroom so the living room is bigger the kitchen's not as big and the counter space isn't as much but i actually enjoy the kitchen um i think maybe i enjoy my last kitchen a little better but this kitchen is not bad at all could definitely be worse also we live on the first floor which has been great like it literally has been so great we've always lived on the top floor and the last place we lived on the third floor which was crazy for us because we have a dog and so every time she needed to use the restroom you know we'd have to go down all three flights of stairs which you know wouldn't be terrible if it was just me but it's like me and zoe so like if like i'm just not taking her out like really quick you know what i mean like it's like going all the way down the stairs having her go potty go all the way upstairs and so like if it's cold or rainy or whatever like we have to bundle up because it's like really really windy up high so yeah that was that was it wasn't the worst but it wasn't the best and right now i would say is the best because if i have to take charlie out and literally just open that door right there i'll take her out and i leave the door open because the grass is right there and zoe's like in her high chair and i can literally just like see both of them at the same time like zoe's going potty i mean <laughs> that's so funny charlie's going potty zoe's eating her whatever goldfish whatever and it's just been great that way um we can be as loud as we want not necessarily like noise wise but i mean like as far as like her dancing around stomping like our friends are here for playing charades like you know whatever like we can like stomp on the ground there's nobody under us so we don't have to worry about that like i always worried about like the that component of like do my downstairs neighbors hate me you know so there definitely also has been negatives and i would say like a couple of negatives are i am further away from my auntie rosie my 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 basically like my dad's side of the family i'm further away from them and i used to go to their house like at least once a week and uh, this is such a like a touchy feely subject to me my grandma's like pretty old and um it makes me sad that i'm not seeing her as much you can just tell that she's getting older sorry <laughs> Um, like this is not supposed to be a sad video. So, um, so yeah, what also has been sad is that my best friend, Megan, you guys have seen her before. She's always on my channel and always on my Instagram. Um, she mostly lives in Costa Mesa down South, but she is here for winter break and her house is less than a mile away from our old apartment and now we're an hour away so that also sucks because during like her summer and winter break we would see her literally like every other day or every three days and it was the best it wasn't like we had to plan things out it was just like hey i'm coming over like you know what i mean and it was just so easy and simple and i love that and now it's like okay i'll come over next thursday and yeah like i'll spend the night till friday you know because we want to get like the most out of it and so she'll come over and she'll spend the night and stuff and and i love that like i, I love that she spends the night and everything but it's just it's just sad that we have to like plan things out because it's like so far and it's like if she's gonna travel this far then she has to be here for the whole day whereas like if she had like a nail appointment or something in elk grove like where we were then she would just come over right after and there was like no planning anything you know what i mean so like that is like sucky like the convenience of that but i would say that the good outweighs the bad as far as joel being very close to his work and we see him more often and obviously like our marriage is like number one okay sorry you guys i had to <laughs> I had to put my child on timeout. Patience, patience, patience. I'm gonna have to end this right here because um, Zoe is getting ready 
for like a little meltdown. <laughs> just wanted to make this video to just let everyone know that everything's good. We're happy. Um, the transition has been good for the most part. There's a little bit of like, oh, I miss Elk Grove. I honestly just want to reiterate that I feel so blessed by God. Um, he literally designed this apartment for us. He picked it out, handpicked it for us. You know, like I'm like convinced that this would not have happened without the hand of God. Literally, they got us in here within six days, you guys. I don't think that that was emphasized well in my last couple of videos. He literally opened this place up for us in six days with our budget in mind. Um, like, I just want you guys to keep in mind, like, that these things don't just happen. Like, God did this all for us. I'm much happier than I've been in a long time. And that's due to the fact that God just came through like he always does. And even if he didn't come through, like you guys, I just feel so blessed to be a child of God and to be just loved by him. And I hope that encourages somebody today. Sorry if this video was like, like, I don't know. I just felt like I needed to make it because I felt like I had a lot of questions and I just wanted to let you guys know that everything's all good. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications so you know every single time that I upload. And I hope that you guys have a really great day. Bye.